Here we've got all our transformations described in words. Okay, so I'm just going to again split up my, my Y's from my X's. So I've got all my vertical transformations here. Okay, and I'm going to, the rest are my horizontal. Okay, write my change in Y. I'm going to do a flip first. I'm going to shift it down and I'm going to compress by one half last. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to, my function notation is going to look like this. Negative one half, or sorry, it's going to be one half. Negative. I've got my original y, which is my f of x. Minus two all closed brackets. Okay, so there's my vertical transformation. My horizontal transformation. Okay, so this is what I end up doing. Okay, so this is not what I'm going to put in my function notation, but this is what I do. I'm going to take my old x, expand it by 2, shift it to the right, compress by 2, and then shift it three to the right. Okay, so I could simplify this and undo it, okay, or I can just undo it all in the steps. This looks like it might be nice to simplify because notice that it divides evenly here, and so I'm going to do this first. I'm going to x end up with x plus 1 plus 3. So in the end, this change these three steps expand by 2 horizontally shift by 2 compress by 2 so expand and compress actually undo each other we can see that here and the horizontal shift the two horizontal shifts end up being plus 1 plus 3 when we take out all those expansion and compressions so there it is actually much simpler once we write it like that so then I can write do the reverse I can undo this now, and that goes into my notation. Okay, so then I end up with x minus 2 in my function notation. So what I actually did was just do plus 2 to the right, and my function notation ended up being minus 2. So all this, although it looks kind of complicated, it actually simplified to just moving it 2 to the right. Okay. And notice again that whatever I can do algebraically to simplify this, it doesn't matter because changing this doesn't change the calculation. It doesn't actually change the coordinates. It doesn't change the transformation. So doing this simplification is perfectly fine. Okay, so we can do this one here. Um, we could simplify this algebraically before we describe it as well, if you'd like. Okay, so if that's what, something you want to do, you can. I'm not going to do it for this example, okay, but just bear in mind that it's perfectly fine to simplify algebraically, then describe it. Okay? But for me, I'm just going to do it the way it's written. I'm going to do what we have here is, first of all, okay, this is all my stuff here. So I'm going to end up, well, I'm just going to write it again. I'm just going to listed out. It's all written out there just the way it is. I'm just going to describe it this way. So I'm going to work inside out. So it's going to be it's going to be a vertical flip first. Okay, it's going to be a vertical. So I can do one here. The second step will be this plus two. So vertical shift up two. The next step is going to be the next outside piece here. So the vertical expansion by 3 and the last thing is going to be a vertical shift plus 1. So if you want to get rid of the brackets and combine like terms that would also describe the same in less steps actually but it would describe the same transformation. With the x's you got to be careful because the notation and what happens are two totally different things. Okay, So the notation looks like this.
Okay, so this is the notation that gets us back to the old x. We solve the other x to be able to describe what happened here. So it's going to be first is going to be minus 3. So get rid of the plus 3, get rid of the times 3 by divide by 3. Get rid of the plus 1 with a minus 1. Get rid of the times by negative 2 by times by divide by 1 half. Okay, so there's what exactly what happens in the order that it happens. So the first thing that happens here is it's a horizontal shift minus 3, left 3. So what I see now, this is why I undo it so I don't have to think backwards. I can now just ex express the transformation exactly how I see it. So horizontal shift first, it's a horizontal compression by one third. The next step is going to be a horizontal shift left again. The fourth step is going to be a horizontal compression by one half. And then the last thing is going to be a horizontal flip. Okay. And these could be switched around. The last two can be switched around because it doesn't matter which order we do the flip and the, the compression. So bear in mind that this is the long way of describing it. If you want to simplify this algebraically, you know, I'll give you an example. This We could have simplified this as negative one half x divided by three minus one minus one or we could have simplified it like that by getting rid of some of that algebra. Okay, but this is good enough. Okay, if you want to undo it, describe it in the order that you would calculate it, that would work. Okay, if you want to simplify this and do it that way, that's perfectly fine as well.